We have breaking news from the NHL. The Ottawa Senators' sale to Michael Anlauer has finally closed. We'll discuss all his partners and what this means for the franchise coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we finally got confirmation from the NHL themselves that the Board of Governors have approved the sale of the Ottawa Senators to majority owner Michael Anlauer and his group of partners, and the deal has officially closed today. It's expected to be a big announcement, uh, a big introduction of Anlauer and his partners uh, likely tomorrow. They're likely going to do that, I believe, at Canadian Tire Center. Uh, so we should get a little bit more clarity on some of the things Ann Lauer kind of wants to do um, and some additions he may be making to the, the uh, franchise as well. But this has been dragging on. It's a very long, long process. Uh, it was the highest uh, amount ever for a, a sale to complete for an NHL franchise, $950 million U.S. dollars. Uh, that's a ton of money, so certainly those things do take time. Lots of due diligence, lots of lawyer paperwork, and it's, after all this time, it feels like we've been chatting about this for forever and a day. Um, we have a done deal, and Ann Lauer now officially has the keys and full control of the Ottawa Senators. So I would suspect, like I said, we're going to get a big press conference likely tomorrow to introduce him officially as owner, and then we can start to learn more about his vision and uh, changes or additions he plans to make to the NHL franchise. Now, of course, uh, his list of partners are a long list of people, which I assume will all be part of the uh, organization in some capacity, like for the or for the announcement tomorrow. Uh, we'll obviously, we'll have a say in how things are done here, but uh, his partners include uh, Eugene Melnick's daughters, Anna and Olivia, retain a 10% piece, which they kind of refer to as a legacy piece, which was their father's wishes that if they ever sold the franchise, they retain a, a portion of it at least. Uh, we know that Jeff York is involved as well. Of course, he's a partner with uh, Farm Boy, and I believe he's a partner in Sobeys in Ontario as well. Uh, and he has a group of uh, 20 local different investors, uh, different you know local business people uh, that have contributed to that group as well. Uh, of course, Jeff York is the brother of Jason York, current uh uh, podcaster as a sense based podcast and of course former player who we used to play at one point for his hometown sense as well uh, we know that the uh, Malhotra family who own Claridge Homes are involved in this bid as well and they own a share um, <clears throat> we know that Paul and Michael Paletta of Burlington based Alenia Group also one of the partners uh, and Oshawa Generals owner Rocco Tulio also involved with the Michael Einlauer bid so uh, from what we've seen of Michael Einlauer so far I think he's going to be a terrific owner. Now, I believe his share of the Montreal Canadiens has already been taken care of, so that's no longer in the picture. That's been divested of. Um, but Ann Lauer, from what I can tell, uh, he's made a few appearances. He appeared unofficially uh, at the Ottawa Senators Charity Golf Tournament the other day, um, and he just seems like a guy who really loves the sport and absolutely wants to win. Now, sometimes with these you know, billionaire-based owners, it's strictly a business uh, opportunity for them to make money. That's really how they look at things. They don't always know. Not all sports owners are big fans of the sport. It just they're all all, all different kinds. Um, some are very hands on. Some are very hands off. I suspect Ann Lauer to be fairly hands on because, like I said, he just seems like a huge fan of the sport and absolutely wants to win a Stanley Cup. Like, that's the impression I get. I think he'll be incredible to reconnect with the fan base. Uh, it seems like he's going to be uh, putting a big emphasis on having the alumni a lot more involved. I think he understands the dynamic of the fan base and how everything kind of went down with Eugene Melnick and how the, the, you know there was a strained relationship there and they, they already kind of started working on things and well really even Melnick's daughters were, were started that process last year uh, last season as well so personally I think this is a terrific terrific owner it will be great for the Ottawa Senators and the Ottawa market now as far as what changes we might um, see uh, we don't know what his vision is yet for an arena if he still wants to Pursue the downtown option with um, LeBreton Flats. I believe that he's a very, at the very least interested and will meet with Mayor Mark Sutcliffe to work something out and the uh, the NCC. I, I believe with the, the parcel of land that was already kind of uh, marked for this project, I think they'd like to have more land, so I think they're going to plan to talk to them about that. 
Um, but I think he's definitely interested in moving the team downtown. I don't know how important it is to him or how big of a deal that he feels it is for the team's success. So hopefully we'll learn a few more things around that. It is expected that it could be as soon as tomorrow. We'll see unless it comes shortly thereafter. But um, Cy Leader, uh, who was a longtime um, CEO and, and um, leader on the business operations side, um, is returning to the organization in, in the same role. Um, so of course, Anthony LeBlanc was there for a good stretch. He did some great work as well. Uh, he resigned earlier this summer. Um, and it's expected that leader will resume his old role with the club. Now, uh, a lot of people think it's quite possible at tomorrow's introductory press conference that he might be there. Word on the street is that leaders already resigned from his previous post. So that he's uh, able and, and able to go and start working right away. So I, I wouldn't be shocked if he's there, but it could come shortly after. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, of course, we've heard lots about Steve Steos. Uh, I, Ken Holland has commented as recently as the last day or two that Steve Steos is technically, he, he said he's still technically part of the Oilers organization, but that he's been dealing with some personal matters. Uh, but he's not listed anywhere on the website. And when you look at all the information they put out for training camp, he's also not listed. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with Steos, but given his long history with Ann Lauer, um, I suspect he will join the organization at some point in the near future. I'm not sure what his role will be. I suspect he'll either start as an AGM to Dorian with the possibility of being the next to take over whenever Dorian departs. Or I wouldn't be completely shocked if Ann Lauer hired him as a president of Hockey Ops and he becomes Dorian's boss. That's a real possibility. Daniel Alfredson is expected to take a role within player development. Um, I don't know what his relationship like is with Pierre Dorian. So some of these roles might be more, you know, expansive or, you know, some of the roles might change whenever the time comes that Pierre moves on. I don't know. Um, but I know that obviously with a lot of the alumni and some of the people that were had a strain, like a, a strained relationship with Melnick by extension of Melnick kind of do with Pierre too. So I don't know how that's all going to work and how that dynamic's going to go. We'll have to see. Uh, there's also some rumors about Peter Chiarelli being involved. Uh, I believe that he was an advisor to Ann Lauer throughout the bidding process and he is local to the Ottawa area. So, and he worked for the senators a long time ago before he ever, had his first opportunity to be a GM. He was an assistant GM at the Sens before he went to Boston, and then after that went to Edmonton and so on. So we'll see. But the good news is the sale is finally closed. Uh, he's got the keys. Ann Lauer's got control, and we can't wait to see what comes next for the Senators. So let me know your thoughts on this big story down in the comments. We'll discuss further. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We'll keep you up to date with the latest news, rumors, and analysis of all 32 NHL teams. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.